February 23rd, 2017, and this video is called RBGH RBST, the Mark of Monsanto. Now, Monsanto is going to be acquired by Bayer, and that happened, the meetings happened in 2016 and the deals should be final by the end of 2017. Now I don't know if they're gonna change the name of Monsanto, create another name for both of them combined, or just still have both separate companies, but I kinda figured maybe they might change it because they kinda figured that people are catching on to Monsanto on um, kinda like how bad their genetically modified organisms in the food are, and there's, going, there's being an awareness not much, but there's a bigger awareness now than there was. And I'll tell you right now, we could put both of these companies out of business and it all comes down to buying products with this organic label on it because anything that contains genetically modified organisms cannot contain this label right here. And if we get smart as a consumer, I'm telling you, we could put Monsanto and Bayer out of business. Also, side note, with uh, their use of Roundup, farmers are going to still use it if they're um, growing GMOs, if they're growing corn, soy, wheat. But as a home consumer, do not buy that poison. There's a big debate going on whether it's carcinogenic or not. And of course, the people that are backed by Monsanto, they're going to show you studies that say there's nothing wrong with it. Even their idiot spokesperson in an interview claimed to, that you could actually drink the stuff. And it just so happened that this moron didn't know that the interviewer had a cup of Roundup waiting for him to drink it and he pulled out. He didn't want to do it, so he made an ass of himself. But the point of this video is there's a genetically modified growth hormone that they're injecting cows with to produce more milk and to make the cow grow faster. And unfortunately, the FDA, who is supposed to try to keep us safe, they believe that there's nothing wrong with this genetically modified growth hormone. Now, what is the genetically modified growth hormone? It's, in short, the initials are RBGH, which stands for Recombatant Bovine Growth Hormone. The human form is also called a somatotropin. It's made by the pituitary gland. Now, it promotes growth in cell replication. Now the bovine growth hormone, the BGH, which is also known as the bovine somatotropin BST, is the natural form of this hormone in cattle. Now the recombatant bovine growth hormone, the RBGH, or the RBST, it refers to a bovine growth hormone that is made in a lab using genetic technology. As of 2011, that most industrial nations actually banned the use of this genetically modified growth hormone, all except the United States. Now, this hormone is still injected into dairy cows to increase milk production. Now, according to the FDA, they don't see anything that is harmful to uh, injecting these cows with it. They don't believe that it actually is harmful because I think they say that it gets doesn't go past our digestion. However, in a letter issued on November 25th, 1996, the United States District Court in the District of New Jersey found that the FDA was not required to release data under the Freedom of Information Act or under the FDA's own statutes. In other words, if they did know that it was harmful because of their influence, which basically the head of the FDA used to be 
working for Monsanto. It's a revolving door. So even if they had that information, don't believe that they would give it and release it to the public because they are only going to look out for the interest of their stockholders. Now, as of 2011, more than 34 million cattle were slaughtered to provide beef for U.S. consumers. Now, an estimated 80% of the U.S. feedlot are injected with hormones to make them grow faster. Now, there are committees that try to find out what is wrong if this stuff is healthy or not. And the, the committee questioned it's actually the European Union Scientific Committee on Veterinary Measures Relating to Public Health. They questioned whether the hormone residues in the meat of growth-enhanced animals can disrupt human hormone balance, causing developmental problems, interfering with the reproductive system, and even leading to the development of breast, prostate, and colon cancers. The real owners of the Monsanto stock are actually the institutions and the people that are behind the institutions. And Bill Gates is one of them. He owns millions of stock in Monsanto. What I find interesting also, though, is the top shareholders of Monsanto are in the Vanguard group. Now they own, as of 2015, they owned three trillion dollars in investments. Now, I did a video before about Barack Obama and his um, per personal disclosure forms about his um, shadiness in uh, the dealings with uh, the reason why he didn't tell us about Fukushima. Now, I just find it interesting that he also owns these Vanguard 500 index um, investment stocks. It's his number one portfolio. Now back in 2007 when uh, the Barack Obama was running for president, this is what he promised. Listen to this. Here's what I'll do as president. I'll immediately implement country of origin labeling because Americans should know where their food comes from. We'll let folks know whether their food has been genetically modified because Americans should know what they're buying. We'll let folks know whether their food has been genetically modified because Americans should know what they're buying. Now I know why he never labeled the GMOs. Because I call him GM Obama. He owned all that stock in the Vanguard 500 and is directly related to the Monsanto stocks. So again, it is the greed of President Obama why he never went through with his promises, just like he said he was going to give us an update on Fukushima, which he never did. But this is the reason why he did nothing in labeling GMOs. It all makes sense now because he's got his ties are to Monsanto, not to the health of uh, the country. Now this is why we could take this company down, all of us. We got to start buying this organic. Now nothing is perfect, but if you buy something that has this organic label, it's guaranteed not to contain this genetically modified growth hormone. Now, it's going to come in all dairy products. It's going to come in your milk. It's going to come in your yogurt. It's going to come in your cheeses. It's going to come in your butter. It's going to come in your sour cream. It's going to come in your buttermilk ranch. It's actually even going to come in your meat. That's why when I went to the local, the local market over here, I was actually asking about it. And they can't actually put on the labels whether it contains this growth hormone or not. But he did say that they know that the local beef, that they don't use the growth hormone. So you have to be familiar with your butcher or when you go to the meat market, ask them about it and go for the local. 
Now what would happened in Ohio in 2008, they banned the use of labeling dairy products as RBST free because it was deemed misleading to the consumers. Now doesn't that sound familiar with the GMO debate and labeling GMOs? But they must have changed that law. Now this isn't organic. Now if you buy anything that's not organic it is going to be assume that it's going to contain this growth hormone in it. But what I noticed is they must have changed the laws on it. And I can't stand that they make labels. I know my eyes are getting not that great. But look at how tiny this writing is. But I looked closer and look at it. It says it's RBST free. Now they must have changed the laws. Or maybe this is because it's not made in Ohio. I don't know. But you, if it's not organic, you got to look for that label. Try to find the, the RBST free and you're not going to contain that synthetic hormone. Now they're telling us that there's no difference between food that has it and food that doesn't. But other studies are saying otherwise. Now when they inject these cows with it, it actually makes their spleen blow up, their udders get infected, and who knows what else is happening to that poor cow. But if we start buying the products without it, believe it or not, we could put Monsanto out of business. It's easy to do. When nobody is buying their products, they're going to lose money. And the shareholders are going to pull out because their stocks will go down. It's going to be hard. This is so hard. This is so hard. You don't understand how hard it is to do this. But, and I'm not going to say I'm the almighty one here, but I stick to my guns. I'm buying only USA Organic. Because if you want to live that extra day, living that extra day is all you wish, you got to do it because they don't care about you. They don't care about me. And also, you got to look at these labels because it already contains... Where is it? It's already containing genetically modified. There it is. The modified corn starch. It's already in here. The GMOs are already in our products. And let's not be the guinea pigs to them. Let's put these guys out of business. And when you're going to go eat some meat, if you want to, buy local meat. You know what? Eat it maybe twice a week. Twice a uh, like once every two weeks you know you don't have to eat meat every day if you want to fine but you don't have to you know if you're gonna eat yogurt which I don't even to tell you the truth I don't know I bought these as props I really don't know I always thought that cow milk was for baby for little cows calves as they're growing humans yes they drink milk when they're little babies I mean, this is just the way we evolved. We are now eating, drinking milk and everything with our cookies, with our donuts. But is it really in our coffee, on our potatoes, with the sour cream? I mean, we're, we're having milk all over the place. But my whole thing is think about it. Should humans be drinking cow milk? If you are, maybe limit it. But if you're going to do it, don't do the GMOs. Let's put Monsanto out of business. It can be done. And just remember this next time you go shop and read those labels. And let's put Monsanto out of business. Well, I don't know what they're going to be called. They might still be named Monsanto. Bayer. I have no idea what they're going to rename it. But let's put them out of business. We could do it. 
Remember the mark of Monsanto? It's the, the genetically modified growth hormones. These cows don't deserve it. You got the ghee. And look at... Kind of looks like a happy cow. Now just remember, there are very few countries that are allowing this genetically modified growth hormone. We are one of the few. And it's we're not one we're not definitely one of the proud. Live life with an organic slant and challenge conventional culture. Let's put Monsanto out of business once and for all. I'm game. I I, I don't buy anything from them guys and seriously we could do this let's put them out of business now you can go check the other FDA's of the countries just like Health Canada and it is not approved for sale in Canada so kudos to Canada but where it's available let's let it sit and rot on the shelves now if you're looking for lunch meats there's very few lunch meats that are going to give you the synthetic free hormones. This brand right here, Dietz and Watson. I seen it in the deli the other day. It's, look at that. Now they're starting to put the labels R B G H free organic. That's the stuff that you want to get then. If you want lunch meat, if you eat lunch meat, go with these guys. Now what I noticed a lot of the companies are doing, you could tell if it contains it or not. See where it says we never use synthetic hormones. So that's what you gotta look for.